Hi, my love. So, how are you doing? Right off the bat, you'll be seeing 555s, five, 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 0550, five, and 555. Five, five. It's like the numbers are chasing your partner. <laughs> and also, let me tell you, this is in love written. Okay? Then the third thing that came out to before, like the third thing that came out before I sat down here was the fact that there's a song. Um, I'm not sure if it's by Roots and Me. But this is a song, and then be and then maybe misconstruing the lyrics from what the singer actually sang. But this is the lyrics they're giving me. There's a meeting in my heart, in my heart. There's a meeting in my heart, in my heart. There's a meeting in my heart, in my heart. And there's a meeting in my heart, in my heart. Baby, baby, and you see it like a community bay. That's all I could catch. <laughs> That's all I could catch. Okay, so this person for you, this collective, if this region finds its way to you, you are too old on for it's like this person you are wanting to call in. And I don't use the word twin flame lightly, okay? For this collective that you're seeing this, this is someone you know. Either you've met the person or you've not met the person. But there's something in your heart that tells you there's someone that is for you. In fact, it feels like this person is part of you, just existing in a different body. You've always known this. For some of you that know these persons, you might see their names occurring frequently. Like maybe you're watching a movie and then a character is called their name, or you're reading a book, or yeah, at the end of the movie, you're seeing the cast and crew and all of those, and the name just comes up, or you are listening to something and the name comes up. It's just random. Spirit is even like, test me. If you feel like you're not sure who the person is, ask me. Is it this person? You just simply say, um, let the name my year nest. <laughs> see, I caught the card and I didn't even see what I got. Let the year name my year nest. Let it be the person's name. And then it's going to come loudly to you. Okay, so Spirit is saying this union is going to happen. But you can't rush it. You can't rush the process. You can't rush the process. It's taking as long as it needs to. Because when you both come together, it's going to be a conflagration of some sort. What I'm saying is this huge bonfire. Like you're going to ignite each other in ways that you could not even have fathomed from now. Um, so that is the word. Now I'm looking at the card. I just broke the deck in half. And see what came up. So right now, your art is also being freed up. You guys might have recently heard maybe morning passionate sound from animals or from your neighbors or something. And at first you would have been like, Ugh, I don't want to listen to that. But then something inside you made you stop and be like, okay, why can't I listen to that? Not like you're trying to eavesdrop. But there's just something here about your heart being opened now to receiving love. Because you've loved yourself. Because you've been putting yourself first. Because you've been loving yourself. Now you're kind of like in this space to receive healthy love that matches the way you've been loving yourself. Not that you're going out to look for this love. That's also being emphasized. You guys might also be seeing three, three, threes as well. But it's like you've done the inner work to allow this love come to you in a way that serves and honors you. Not in a way that previously maybe you would have been wanting to bend over backward to receive this love or to make yourself contort yourself into what you're not. Or to not have found yourself before finding this love. It feels like you were made to stay apart. Because you both needed to find yourselves as the best selves to come into this union. So however long it's taken. Know that it's been divinely directed and divinely orchestrated. 
Right now, your heart is open. And your yeah, spirit is saying you have to continue to open up your heart. Continue to all those things you used to say about, oh no. Um, I'm not, I don't want, I experienced that in past relationships. I'm going to, there's something I'm, I'm hearing to also remind you of the fact that now you're a new person. My hearing is playing okay. <laughs> now you're a new person. And who you are now does not bear the odds and the wounds of your past self. Be very mindful of that. Who you are now doesn't bear the odds and the wounds of your past selves. You guys, your ears may also be warm, getting odd ringing sounds. There's something about you now opening up your heart to experience more love because you've also put more love into yourself. You've put more love into yourself. You've you are now open up to receiving more. Previously, maybe you only made a part of your heart available for romantic love, and now that's been opened up and it's been continuing, it's continuing to open up. Okay, so spirit says, keep on loving yourself. It's going to happen sooner rather than later. I feel tempted to get some more details. <laughs> like, when is it going to happen? Who are these persons? What do they know anything about these persons? Let's see if you can get anything about this season in which you can expect this union to happen. Okay, so this is the love that is going to last a while. Spirit, please can you share something? Thank you. Okay, not being very specific, but thank you. <laughs> you are going to know this person. You guys are going to meet during the daytime. You are going to know this person in the sense that you are going to recognize them. You're going to recognize them. You're going to recognize them intuitively. You're going to be like, that's my person. But immediately you see them, immediately you lay eyes on them, you're going to know. You or your person might also have Leo placement significance. Either you have like a lot of a lot of planets in Leo or your Leo Sun Moon Horizon or they are one of you has a lot of sun energy. Okay, and if you have a lot of sun energy, then you also got Sagittarius and Capricorn. My eyes were actually pulling to these mountains for Capricorn, but I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> because I was determined to get the details from this deck. Okay, so the person might have Sagittarius placements, you might also have Sagittarius placements or Capricorn placements. Okay, so these three signs Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn. They're being very, very significant here. And you're going to know this person. This is so unique. And this is, this is daytime. And also, aside from this, um, so for those of you, who, this, who you or your person is Leo, what they're also trying to tell me, tell you is the fact that this union is going to happen later by Capricorn season. Between Sagittarius and Capricorn season, this thing is going to come about because then everything will have been sorted. And then 60606 on my time right now. 7676. Is there another identifier for them to clarify what this person is? For those of you watching these things, yeah, the for those of your your energy is that of the divine feminine. Okay, for the persons in this video, you are the divine feminine, and we are calling you is your divine masculine. So all the while, spirit has been preparing you to take care of yourself, to be able to show for yourself, to have fought your own battles. So that it's not like this person is coming to fight in your battles for you. You guys are both of you. The work you're doing on yourselves now is getting you ready to fight a unified battle. You guys are going to have a common enemy you're going to be facing, not yourself. All right, my love. So, as I was saying, this person, um, Gemini placement might also be significant. So, 
You've been spending your time working on your skills. Now it's time for you to open up your heart. It's time for you to open up your heart to receiving love. It's time for you to open up your heart to receiving love. It's time for you to open up your heart to receiving love in all its forms. And especially you are being told to do less. You're not you're not going to meet this person on a dating app or you have to start club hopping or you have to start going to all those networking parties. No 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 <laughs> no no that's what is happening. Okay, the work you need to do now is more about opening up yourself to receiving love. And you're doing that uh, by being softer, being more gentle, being more tender with yourself. Okay, opening up to love songs, listening to love songs, feeling good. We know the passionate morning song I told you about. I'm not saying it's trouble, but when you're sitting there, let your heart soften. Not, don't be like, ugh. No, see it as an exclamation and as a proclamation of love. Okay, be open to love, listen to love songs, watch movies about love, read stories about love, smile, feel good, feel sentimental, feel emotional. Don't be all add on like love, it's not happening. No, I know you have to be open to love your new person. Who you were in the past is no more. Who you were in the past is no more. You're a new person now. You're a new person, my darling. So you can't keep on saying, oh, people, the people you loved in the past hurt you. No, you're not that past person. You're this new person. You have a, new, a clean slate, a new canvas to choose things for, a new canvas to have to paint your experiences on. Also, um, I'm being guided to tell you to build. Create a vision board if you don't have one. Create a vision board around what you want love to feel like. How do you expect this person to communicate with you? How do you want to communicate with them? How the kind of places you go? What are the kind of experiences you have? How will your Sunday mornings look like? What would you spend time doing together? What would you talk about? What would you buy for them? How would they buy for you? How would they show you they love you? What are the kind of things you want to try with them? Build this out if you don't have it already. And then also, don't sneer at love. You know, you can become... Sometimes, without knowing it, you can just become really cold-hearted and very... Um, recalcitrant and then just pessimistic like oh okay love can not no, happen for you it's happening for everybody else who can't happen you know there's something about being soft opening up to love just letting love come in letting love come in the more you feel good with yourself the more you feel the more you feel good with yourself the more you have faith in love the more good things will come to you, the more joy you put out, the more love is coming to you. Okay? And every time you realign back in love, the universe always responds. Every time you respond in love, every time you make decisions from a place of love, every time you make you carry out action and make decisions and choices from a place of love, the universe always responds because the universe is love. That's the old language of the universe. Universe is love. That's the old language of the universe. And every every they are also telling me tell you, don't you this is not a time for you to be feeling more. What you need to be doing is focusing on opening up your heart. Focusing on opening up your heart and doing less. Personal journey. What did I say about vision board and inspiration board? Personal journey. I know I follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are each on our own journey, and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. Don't go saying, oh, everybody else around you is married, or they are doing their, they are doing their relationship like this. No. Choose what you want. You being single now, if you are single, enjoy it. If you are not with a partner you know is meant for you, Say so. Don't try to manage things. Don't try to pretend. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough. Then you've also got inspiration board. If I'm ever feeling down or bored, I spend time creating a vision board to place in my home 
I feel it with quotes, pictures, and desires that bring me inspiration, which I I may love. I also love reading. If you like to book a reading, the link is in my bio. I love you.